Thanks for viewing this presentation on creating a TinTap logon. This presentation discusses how to gain access to TinTap and gather the information needed before you request access to the system. TinTap is accessed by using a username and password to gain access to the TinTap system. So creating a logon is needed to begin using this tax filing and payment system. To get started, you'll need to gather some required information. First, your ID type must be determined. The ID number you provide must match the department's records in order to give you access to your account. If you own your business with your spouse, a marital joint ID has been assigned to your business and must be used when creating a TinTap logon. Your legal business name may or may not be the same as your doing business as or DBA name. If your business is a sole proprietorship, your legal name will be your first and last name. Zip code, email address, and telephone number are all self-explanatory. If you do not yet have an email address, please obtain one before attempting to use this system as a valid email address is required. Next, you must have your account type, such as sales tax or liquor by the drink tax, as well as your account number. The account number on 10 tap is 10 digits long followed by three letters. You can also use a location ID number for an individual location for 10 tap access as well. Lastly, you will need to provide a payment amount or letter ID. 10 tap will recognize any of your last three payments you have made for your account. If your last three payment amounts were zero, you will need to provide a letter ID. A letter ID is listed on any notices or letters sent by the Department of Revenue for taxes currently available on TinTap. Once on the Tennessee Department of Revenue's website, you'll go to the upper right corner and search for the TinTap logo. You will click on the logo and begin the process of accessing your information. Once you get to this page, you will go to the login information in the upper right corner of the screen. Since you do not have a logon at this time, you must click on Don't Have a Logon and proceed. On the next page, you are reminded of the information that is required in order to get a 10TAP logon. On the 10TAP registration page, you will see there are three columns. One column is for identification information, another for login information, and the final column is for other authentication information. To begin this process under identification information, you will need to enter the type of ID that you have. You will continue with the information as follows after this. Next under login information, you will select a username and a password and confirm that password as well as entering the required information in the column. After this, you will go to this information to the right for selecting a secret question and answer that allows you to gain access if you lose your password. You will also select two-factor authentication in order to give us the information regarding your email or text information for password purposes as well. Once this information is complete, you will click Next and go to the next page. On the next page, you'll be directed to the Correspondence tab. You'll make your selection about email or postal mail and proceed to the next page. At the tax account page, you'll enter your information that's available regarding your tax account type and your account number and other information and proceed to the next page and continue the final processes for getting your 10TAP logon. Finally, as with all access to any websites, please protect your username and password information. If you lose your password or username, choose the option for email retrieval of this information on the TinTap main page under the Logon Input area. You can also call us or submit a request for help at our website by choosing Revenue Help in the lower left corner of the website. For more information on TinTap, please visit www.tintapinfo.com. To get help via email, please visit our website at tn.gov forward slash revenue and click on Revenue Help or use the link shown here. Finally, telephone assistance is available each business day to assist you from 8 to 4.30 Central Time, excluding holidays. 
Thanks for viewing this presentation. Please visit our website regularly for updated information and other presentations for assistance with your tax obligations.